Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Thursday, April 3rd. The employment report provides a full read on the labor market and is especially important during periods of economic slowdown. The strength of payroll growth and unemployment provide a forward read on consumer spending, which is 70% of GDP. Non-farm payrolls have declined over the last two months, with weaker monthly growth over the last four months. Private or non-government payrolls have shown three months of decline. Another decline in both is expected with the March report, which will be released before the start of trading Friday. Initial and continued claims are both higher than during the February payroll survey week. The ADP estimate for private payroll showed an encouraging 8,000 gain, but given the 95,000 average overestimate in the ADP report over the last three months, the March estimate isn't swinging expectations. The consumer confidence employment readings were the worst since late not excuse me, since late 2004. The ISM Manufacturing Employment Index showed a five-month high, but are still below new, the neutral 50 level. Briefing.com looks for a continued worsening with a 70,000 decline in March non-farm payrolls. The consensus estimate is pegged at a decline of 50,000, which is an improvement from the 63,000 decline seen in February. Briefing.com looks for a rise in the unemployment rate to 4.9 percent. The market expects a 0.2 percent rise back to the 5 percent high of December. There's very little focus on hourly earnings as they fall into a 3.7 percent annual rate from a high of 4.3 percent over a year ago. The work week is expected to hold at the lower 33.7 hour length of the last two months. The weakness in payroll growth comes from the goods producing sectors which are expected to show a full year of monthly declines given the weakness in construction and manufacturing. The more recent weakness in the private service payrolls which showed a decline in February after average gains of 100,000 in the fourth quarter. Given the list of accumulating drags on the economy, the focus is on the consumer and employment in particular given the forward read they offer for spending. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening.